In today's video, I'm gonna talk about the five most common mistakes men make while wearing dress socks. Now, whenever it comes to dressing well, it often seems that dress socks are one of the last things that people think about. I mean, if they're not thinking about their shoes, they're definitely not thinking about their socks. But a proper dress sock makes such a big difference in how your outfit looks and how elegantly you present yourself and also how comfortable you are throughout the day. So in today's video, I'm gonna talk about the five most common mistakes men make while wearing dress socks. The first and the most common mistake men make while wearing dress socks is that they wear mid-cap dress socks. We've all seen them, they are almost everywhere. Uh, unfortunately, in today's day and age, it is actually increasingly difficult to find a proper over-the-cap dress sock. And one of the biggest mistakes I think I made here at Kirby Allison is whenever we first started carrying dress socks, I almost insisted on also carrying mid-cap dress socks. It wasn't until I discovered a truly exceptional over-the-cap dress sock that I fully understand and realize uh, the virtues of an over-the-cap dress sock. Now the problem with mid-cap dress socks, we've all seen them, is it's inevitable. Throughout the day, the socks are gonna slide down, thereby revealing the calf. Not only is it uncomfortable, the sensation of the sock sliding down and having to reach up and pull that sock up uh, throughout the day, but whenever you sit down or you cross your legs, uh, the trousers inevitably rise up, thereby revealing your bare calf. Whenever you've taken all your efforts to dress up, to put on a suit and tie, to shine your shoes, to then sit down and have your trousers uh, raise up a little bit and reveal a bare calf, uh, is just a huge break in etiquette. So the beauty of a proper over-the-calf dress sock is that you never have to worry about exposing your bare calf whenever you're going out in the day. So the number one mistake that men make is wearing mid-calf dress socks. The number two mistake men make is wearing loud and obnoxious dress socks. Now, if you walk into a room and the first thing you notice is someone's dress sock, maybe they're wearing like a bright yellow or a bright red, or maybe something with a really bold pattern, uh, although the temptation might be there to feel hip and cool, it is actually really uh, not elegant at all. And so uh, it's certainly my opinion here at Kirby Allison and our position uh, as far as classic elegance in menswear goes is that the color of your sock should always be muted and it should always be secondary to the outfit. Maybe you're supplementing a little bit uh, with a burgundy if you're wearing a gray or, or black trousers. Uh, but really, uh, other than just a few rare exceptions, uh, your trousers or your socks should always, as much as possible, either match your trousers or your jacket. The reality is, is that you've never seen a head of state or anyone that's a member of the British royal family, anyone that really understands the nuance of classic elegant dressing, uh, ever wear a bright contrasting pair of socks. You know, that'd be like looking at the G8 photo where you've got all the heads of states gathering uh, and someone wearing bright orange socks. You just don't see it. The third most common mistake that men make is not purchasing a quality sock. And a good example is that is a sock that doesn't have a proper elastic at the top or the gambietto. Now, on all of our over-the-calf sovereign grade socks that we sell here at Kirby Allison, they all have a large and generous kind of elastic portion. Instead of just being an inch and a half, two inches, we actually have a full a six inch gambietto right here, which has elastic in it. The gambietto uh, is the Italian word uh, for this uh, little extra kind of two by two elastic rib uh, that is uh, below that top portion of the sock. Uh, and so it's again, a small marker of quality that really makes a big difference in how the sock wears. Now the reason the elastic is important is much the same reason that wearing an over-the-calf dress sock is important. This elastic helps the sock stretch over the calf uh, and really kind of grip the leg to prevent it from sliding down. So again, if you invest in an inexpensive uh, sock that doesn't have that proper little extra elastic there at the top, inevitably after you wash it a few times, your socks are gonna be dropping uh, down uh, to your ankles and you're gonna find yourself reaching down to pull them up throughout the day, uh, which is exceptionally distracting. So the number third, really most important mistake uh, that men make is really not taking uh, the time or effort to seek out a quality sock that has that uh, extra elastic at the top. The fourth most common mistake that men make when wearing dress socks is not purchasing a sock made of 100% natural fibers. Now you might think that a little bit of polyester or nylon in your sock isn't gonna make a big difference. And maybe if it's got just five to 10% in there just for a little bit of extra elasticity, that might be passable. 
But anything more than that is going to create a sock that throughout the day actually prevents the foot from breathing. Now what happens is inevitably the foot uh, and really your calf begin to clam up. Uh, they, begin, they begin to become uncomfortable because again, they're not allowed to breathe naturally. Now the beauty of all of our sovereign grade socks here is that they are 100% natural fibers, either 100% cotton, 100% wool, we've got some silk blends. Uh, regardless, they're 100% natural fiber, which is going to ensure that your foot is able to breathe throughout the day and it's going to be comfortable. Now kind of segueing on that, another mistake uh, that people make is not wearing the proper sock for the right season. Now again, a lot of complaints that I hear from men, uh, and one of the primary reasons you hear men not wearing over-the-calf dress socks is because they're uncomfortable. And really, my over-the-calf dress socks are some of the most comfortable socks I have in my entire wardrobe because they breathe naturally and it's the right material for the right season. So a good example of that is, say, our cashmere or our 100% wool socks. If you were to wear those during a Texas summer, of course, uh, your calves are going to be dying, your legs are going to be dying, your feet are going to be sweating because it's too warm of a sock uh, for warmer climates. But that said, in New York during a winter, uh, your feet are really going to love you for a little bit of added insulation with a cashmere or wool sock. Now the fifth most common mistake that men make when wearing their dress socks, surprisingly, is not trimming their toenails. Now why is that important? Well, any really fine, high quality dress sock is going to naturally be thin. And if you forget to trim your toenails throughout the day, your long toenail is basically going to saw through the toes of a really high quality dress sock, really any dress sock for that matter, uh, other than a sports sock. So if you're wearing high quality dress socks with beautiful dress shoes, it is imperative that you keep your toenails trim, especially your big toe. Now that said, one of the other mistakes that I think men make when wearing high quality dress socks is not taking the time to mend dress socks if a hole does appear. It's inevitable. If you're wearing high quality dress socks, even the best quality dress socks, uh, over time your socks are going to develop some holes at the toes. Now with a darning egg and a little bit of needle and thread, it is actually very easy to mend uh, that hole, to sew it shut. Uh, no one will ever see it and it will dramatically extend the lifetime of your socks. Now one of the things that I love about our Sovereign Grid collection is that again, it's environmentally friendly. 100% natural fibers, you know, grown responsibly. And again, I just love the idea, the thriftiness, the conservation uh, of really uh, mending your socks in order to uh, allow them to last longer as opposed to just throwing them away whenever a hole develops. I think of mending socks really in much of the same way as resoling a pair of shoes. I mean, who would even contemplate or fathom, you know, buying a really nice pair of Allen Edmonds or let's say even Edward Greens and then a wearing through the outsoles uh, and then just throwing those shoes away as opposed to taking them to your local cobbler to have those outsoles replaced to give those uh, shoes a new lease uh, on life. So throwing those socks out just after a small hole develops uh, is absolutely not sustainable uh, for your budget or for your planet for that matter. Uh, and again, mending a hole, a small hole in a pair of dress socks is really easy, especially with the darning egg uh, and a little bit of needle and thread. We have an entire video on how to do this. And I have to say, I always have a needle and thread uh, kind of uh, sitting standby in my sock drawer. It's already threaded. Uh, so that if I pull out a pair of dress socks in the morning and see that they've developed a small hole, I'll drop my darning egg in and just mend that hole uh, really in the matter of a few minutes and get on with my day. <laughs> and to be honest, it doesn't even matter if the thread matches. It's actually a little bit of a badge of honor for me to use a contrasting thread uh, because whenever I pull those socks out and see that I've mended it you know, two or three times, uh, it really just brings a little bit of satisfaction that I'm kind of doing my part uh, to be thrifty uh, and to really help uh, you know, really go against this throwaway uh, culture that we live in. So these are the top five mistakes men make while wearing dress socks. If you want to learn more about quality dress socks, we have an entire series of videos uh, that we're releasing on our YouTube channel about quality dress socks, how to match them, how to wear them. Uh, and so check those out and make sure you subscribe to our channel by clicking the red subscribe button, turning on your notifications so that, whenever, so that you can learn whenever we release new videos. If you have any questions about dress socks or if you have any pet peeves of yourself about mistakes that you see other men making, uh, please let us know about those in the comments section below. If you haven't taken a moment to visit KirbyAllison.com, we have the largest collection of luxury garment care and luxury shoe care accessories in the world, as well as other great clothing accessories for the well-dressed like our sovereign grade dress socks. I'm Kirby Allison. Thanks for watching.